Hi, I'm CCP Commander Wang. I am the Community Manager for Dust514. I'm here to introduce you to our producer, CCP Wolfman, who will give you a more in-depth look at weapons in Dust514. Hi, I'm Tom Farah, a producer here at CCP. And one of the best parts of my job is working together with a design team on the weapons for Dust514, which, in case you didn't know, is a persistent free-to-play shooter set in the notorious sci-fi universe of EVE Online. Our goal with the weapons in Dust was to create recognisable roles like assault rifles and rocket launchers, but using far more advanced technology than we see in their modern day equivalents. There are three main categories that we've broken the weapons in Dust into. They are heavy, light and sidearm. So the light weapons are the general workhorse of the battlefield. This is where you find your sort of mid-range assault rifles, your sort of mid to long range directed energy weapons like laser rifles. Um, it's also where you find the lighter anti-vehicle weapons like swarm launchers that fire targeted missiles using lock-on. The heavy weapons, these are all about raw power. They, they can only be equipped by heavy armor, so you won't be running around the battlefield with them very quickly. But with weapons like the rail-based forge gun, you're going to be inflicting massive damage to vehicles. And then there is the sidearm. This is your backup. This is when you've, when you've been sort of fought into a corner, you've run out of bullets, you quickly pull out your scrambler pistol, which has a fantastic uh, ability to scramble the enemy's brains, giving it very high headshot damage, or your SMG. So you can pray and spray that you hope you're going to drop that guy before he drops you. Dust 514 is all about customization, and weapon specialization is at the heart of that. Now, most games put a gun in your hands, you go and shoot the other guy in the face. The dust goes a little deeper than that. There are hundreds of weapons and weapon variations on the market to suit your taste, but there's also a huge array of different skills that you can train that will affect how your weapon behaves. As you play the game, you'll earn skill points and you'll earn ISK, our in-game currency. You'll use those skill points to train abilities that will give you access to different types of weapons, different types of armor and equipment then you'll use the ISK that you earn to go to the marketplace and buy these items. This gives you a lot of choice in terms of how you progress. You know, do you go wide and gain access to a broad range of different equipment? Or do you really dive deep into one area and specialize and get the, you know, one weapon or piece of equipment to be the best it can possibly be? This system is really at the core of Dust, and it's a powerful tool for controlling your destiny as a player. We're always working on new weapons for Dust. The game is constantly evolving, um, and I don't think we're ever going to run out of ideas. I mean, ourselves, we have an enormous list of things that we like to do, and the players are constantly giving us suggestions and ideas for new types and variations. I mean, it's enough to keep us busy for years. Um, but looking at the near future, we have a few new weapons coming out that are pretty cool. We've got the Flaylock pistol, which is a sidearm that fires micro-rockets. That's pretty cool, actually. I, I like using that one. We've got the uh, Galente Plasma Launcher. This is a new uh, Dumpfire AV weapon, um, which I think the players are gonna really, really like. Um, and lastly, of course, we have the Scrambler Rifle, my personal favorite. So I'll be looking forward to going onto the battlefield with that. Um, really, the most important thing for all of these new weapons and the thing we enjoy the most is putting them in the player's hands and seeing what happens. I can't wait. <laughs>